That's fine. Now, this is my problem with old age, is I can't remember what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> Um, we can, we're talking about we Echo Bear, We're talking about Echo Bear. Well, I don't know anything about Facebook forum group things. So mm. they're very strict on um, replica stuff. Yeah. That's for people selling, is it? Yeah, they, you, will, you will not yeah. find anything like that on there. They will not sell it. They will not have anybody that sells it. But me as an evil shopkeeper buying is fine though, isn't it? But you're saying that's if they let me in the group. Or should I not go on as myself? <laughs> that's that's they they should let you in. Yeah. They will. Yeah. Yeah. Just whether they'll let I don't know what the, what the, where they are at, the, at the moment because they start they stop letting people in because we're getting too many people at the minute. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. The thing is, they don't like people asking stupid questions, which is 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 why one of the reasons I start my channel is yeah. because I like to answer stupid questions. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to say we get things like um, it's a few years since I've been here as Blackpool Tower, still in the same place. So, you know, I, t yeah. I say to them, no, we've moved to inland after 9 11. Um, where's the beach? It's over there. No, it's just water. Um, the beach is underneath. Where are the donkeys? They're on the beach. You know, the tide's in. Well, can you not see the snorkels? Which one's Central Pier? It's the one in the middle. I could do this all day. You know, yeah. it's. it's <laughs> Yeah. It's mean, I know, but it's it's part of the fun of the yeah. job. So, forums, chat groups, auctions. Yeah. What about other shops and dealers? That that's, that's that, whole, that was that's not meant to be a was... dramatic drum roll. But <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> that was that. You was... can join in the video if you want. Oh, yeah. So Are you sure? Okay. okay. <laughs> So yeah, that is one thing that um, is quite difficult, is finding. Because we've yeah. just been to, to Lytham, yeah. and you just showed me another shop that I didn't know about. Well, I was trying to keep it secret from you, because I don't want you to find that <laughs> better shops than mine, that's what it is. Well, no. But yeah. if I'm if I come in, I'll probably go there now. Yeah, well, this is it. The, the thing is, is... There are other shops available. Yeah. There are but, other shops in Blackpool. This is the best. Yeah, so I, as you know, I know a lot, lot of a lot of shop shop people. Keepers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know a lot of. Um, I, th I go around looking at local. Well, this, this, so local. this is my problem, and I think but the problem with a lot of people is here for eight months of the year. I can't really get out, so the only relationships yeah. I kind of build are you know through messages or yeah. um, you know if I've met them maybe of old or at toy fairs and yeah. I've known them for a yeah. couple of years. But my network isn't yeah. as big as your network. So that is a valid point that really getting to know the shopkeepers and the shops that are out yeah. there. I mean, we know, if, should we reel a few off? Yeah. Do you want to reel a few off? Well, there's Gareth at Cosmic Toys. Cosmic Toys, Toys, yeah. Not yeah. Leeds. Not Leeds. Uh, we've got Forever Retro in Bradford. Yeah. Uh, Plastic Crack as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he actually came in the shop, he's quite a nice chap. Yeah, um, it was really nice because I always feel that um, you know people may be a little bit hesitant to introduce themselves yeah. if they're in the same business. Whereas I like to meet people yeah. because like I, I think it's business like and it makes a world for it. On the on the trip to yeah. Lytham today, yeah. I remember coming in about ten years ago. Yeah, I think it might not have been that long ago, but I remember coming in. I was so there was a couple of shops as well. Yeah, respawn. This, yeah, respawn. There was I can and, yeah, and yeah. there was the another one in the corner. Eddie, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not there anymore. No. Um, so I was going to, I'm honestly going to respawn. Yeah. But it was shut. So I was going to come here as well. Yeah. But as soon as I come and met you, and you were so, so friendly. You didn't know me from Adam. Obviously, I was. And you're inter that. you're interested. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you, you, you showed me your, your blaster. It's like, you know, I'm building this. And yeah. I'm like really excited about your blast. I remember that. Yeah. Vividly. Because. Yeah. Coming here was brilliant. Um, well, we're a sort of happy discovery, hopefully, for people who are into this kind yeah. of thing. And that's the whole point of the shop is people get to see these things. Mm. You know, because like I'm always saying that otherwise they're just locked in selection, aren't they? They're just yeah. they're hidden away. Well, at the time I didn't have didn't have my podcast. I didn't have a obviously not a YouTube channel. Yeah. I had a shop. I had yeah. my shop in, in Leeds, in yeah. Norway. But that's all I had at the time, and I could have been. I was just another customer to you. Yeah. But you were so friendly. Yeah, well, the thing, yeah, I, again, I always sort of joke and say it's more a shop with friends and customers. 
but that's the way I would rather it is. Yeah. You know, because I think if we're not friendly to people and we are approachable, then it, it kind of knackers up what people say about us. Yeah. And I try and be as nice as I can, but people do say nasty things about me online all the time, which I don't know why. Well, that's but, it. That's but I think it. that's, that's, that's anonymity. You're going to get people like that. That's I mean, anonymity. But if you're a certain it? person in Manchester, really? Yeah. That has a shop. Yeah. And it's a miserable son. And everybody, everybody has a laugh about it because yeah. he's a miserable son. But you, but, but people, people still go. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Tell me off camera. I'm gonna get. Yeah. Right. So you know, you 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 know if you know. You know if you know. So this is my first twelve case. We have got. Well, um, what's I need three, so that's nine. This is me good at maths, being a shopkeeper, isn't it? <laughs> Um, so I've struck out on three, probably three of the hardest figures to get. You Now you were saying when we were chatting, the Jawa have, have rocketed up in price, haven't they? Yeah. And of course I need one with a gun. I'm never going to be able to afford a vinyl cape one. Although I might have sourced one. Really? Well, I know someone who's got one. Okay. Um, and these, and I was saying, have you still got it? because they've had it since they were a kid. Right. And he said, oh yeah, he's, well we moved and everything's in storage, but I can't go into the storage until, to get that one thing out, we have to get everything out. Get so everything it, out. <laughs> yeah, well that's it. But, um, and what they actually said was, oh you can have it if you want. I was like, no, I'm buying it off you if, yeah. if, if it's out there. Because I mean, the thing with this first one is the first one. Yeah. So and it has that to be is, a vinyl It has to, oh don't do that. Well, you've got a small head hand. I have got a small head hand. Yeah, right. You just want me to spend a thousand pounds on a vinyl well, cake. The thing is, you're, you've started yeah. this. You've, you've I have, to, yeah. It's my own. You've got to get that vinyl cake jam out. Yeah, it's my my. Are you going to have a placeholder with the, the cloth cake? Well, it's going to have to be for the time <laughs> being. It's definitely <laughs> have to be. But I think the challenge is the Princess Leia yeah. with the blaster. I found a fanboy Luke in America that's immaculate. It's one hundred and fifty dollars. There is one on evil. Is it double telescope? Eh? No. <laughs> There's one on evil. Like that. Yeah. You've got to have double telescoping. Well, then I've got to have a double telescope in Ben as well. Yeah. But that, how, that, on, on how much would. Well, the do, double telescope in Vader is 7,600. That's not bad. That's the last one that sold. That's not bad. How much is the Ben then? Double telescoping. Um, double telescoping is the longer lightsabers, which um, I may have. Mentioned so they, in the other video. The, card the, one one about. the last card in one went for about eighty thousand dollars. So, so take the card off, get it, get the card off, and you know, you're fine. Okay, <laughs> fifty grand a kidney on the black market. So that's right. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a vinyl cape jawa, but there'll be a cloth cape placeholder for the time yeah. being. Princess Leia like Blaster. You've got, you've got Do you think I might have one for you? Yeah, I, I, it's a long shot. It's a real long shot. Yeah. Um, this is what we've got to do in collector. It is, yeah. And like I say, it might be 10 years before they get the stuff out of storage. 10 years? Yeah, doubled in price. Worth it. Tripled in price, or it might be worth nothing. There's a double telescope in Luke Skywalker on eBay that's graded. That's, that's my holy grail. For a thousand pounds. I would not pay more on the four hundred pound for a double telescope. Really? Anymore. Okay. Well, I probably I just, will never get one at that price. Yeah, but you wouldn't but, pay more. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. I'm gonna say it's got they're susceptible to offers, but I imagine they want if it's on a nine hundred and ninety nine pounds, they want nine hundred and ninety yeah. nine thousand nine hundred and ninety yeah. rather. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I could buy that, smash the graded case up, and take it out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've done it before. Not to yeah. double telescoping, but yeah. to a figure. To a figure um, yeah. It's like I, the Red Barn i5. Yeah, that you got. That was, uh, that, that was super lucky, wasn't it? I just Brilliant. thought, no. I wasn't looking for one. I've always, well, I've never seen one. Yeah. Never. So I've never owned one. Was it that thing, cosmic ordering? So the, the, you, you told the universe well, it brought one to you. Yeah. I mean, it was, I had a, I had a tip off basically. Yeah. This, look at this listing. So yeah. I'm looking through the photos, yeah. and it's on like photo 10. Yeah. So he said, Millennium Falcon with three figures. I found that there was a small head hand and a chewy. Yeah. 
And I thought, what's well, the third one? So I'm looking for the figures, yeah. looking for the pictures. Picture 10, Red Bar I-5. Has anybody else seen this? Yeah. Nobody must have seen it because Not they got paid £130 pound for yeah. the lot. So I sold the small head hand, sold the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. So I've literally got a Red Bar R5 for maybe 10 or oh, nothing. Yeah, it's free, yeah. And what's that worth? Um, I'm looking at it, it's not, it's not mint. No. You can no. tell it is proper, like legitimate. It. Yeah. The sticker's not good on it. That's about 200. There you go, you see. And that's the thing about being patient, he says. Yeah. Bringing it all the way back. Yeah. Um, patience. Continuity. Patience is the yeah. Patience, a little bit of luck in finding these things. And when you are looking at listings, check the photographs. And I'm going to revert back to my massive mistake that Gareth from Cosmic Toys pointed out to me. When, at Vectis, when yeah. I was buying something, I saw another listing and it was cheap and I thought I can nick this. And when I hadn't looked at the picture because the internet had gone down because of the weather, I was bidding on my phone and I'd not read the listing, which is the, yeah. all the rules that, that you don't abide by when you're yeah. buying at auction. And the two things that I'd won in that auction that I'd paid way too much money for, I think I paid about 140 quid, were worth 20 each. Luckily though, they retracted the bid yeah. and delisted them. That's the thing, that's the thing with the auctions. Especially toy auctions, I uh, know. The descriptions are rubbish and the pictures are rubbish. Yeah, yeah. They well, need to be, have better pictures, more pictures, better descriptions. Well, I imagine the volume of stuff that they go through. Well, that's well, if it's if it's the first thing it should say that. is vintage or modern. Yeah. You know, and that that alleviates any kind of doubt. But they're trying to get the most for things, aren't they? And get people yeah. interested in bidding, so they don't put that in. I mean, even if but it's then in the description, you've got a, a auctioneer who doesn't know what they're talking about. They'll say, "Oh, it's lot number thirty-one." They don't even. Oh, yeah. they, they don't even know what they're selling. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's just a, just a number on a page. Yeah. Did you see the Chucky doll that went for auction? He put the hammer down at £25,000. And as she did it, another bid came in online. So they'd start, restarted the auction. Yeah, that's wrong. I know. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. And it went for 35 So if you were yeah. the person that had won it at 25 they They're saying, oh, but could you hurry up with your, your bids? Yeah. But if you put the hammer down, yeah, that's it. That should be it. Yeah. No, I don't like that. No. Anyway, I know I like auctions. Don't don't get me wrong. I know it sounds like a door, but I like. Well, auctions. this is it. You can get a bar a bar yeah. This is <laughs> falling over nothing. Here. Um, this is it. You can get a bargain at auction. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, you're going to get bitten if you don't do yes. your, don't do your homework. Yes. And you don't check the auction first. But um, again, it's kind of the thrill of it, isn't it? Yeah. So, so if you're going to buy these at auction. Well, like I said, I wanted to try and do, like, buy one off a member of the public. Mm. Now, again, the likes of you and me, I've got a phone number of a guy who's got every single Star Wars figure. To me, that's cheating, because I could just ring him up and go, have you got these three and buy them? Yeah. I need, to, I think the the thrill is in the chase, is it not? Exactly, that's, that's the thing I always say, because you can go to eBay and if you've got the money, just buy everything you want. Yeah. But again, I was comping these out. But most of my 96 I've got, yeah. I've gone out and searched for them. Yeah. And I've found them for 20p. Yeah. Or, you know. You've got them over time, yeah. Yeah, like the, like the R5. Yeah. You know, I've got them through luck. Yeah. Through hard work. Yeah. Through networking. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It's all about networking. Yeah, it's, it's not one, you know, it's only not. Yeah. You see, I struck lucky with this, because we bought a collection that had most of the Empire yeah. and Jedi figures, but it wasn't till I physically went and looked what was in the set yeah. to complete it that the hard work really started. Yeah. And it. that took two and a half years to build that set. As I always, I, again, I always, I've got rules. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For myself, not for, not for, yeah. I, I would not tell anybody what to do. Yeah, that's but the thing. Advice. It's what it's suits you, isn't it? Read up. Yeah. Read a book. If you're going to start a collection, get a book about that collection and learn so you know that you're not buying a dud. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Imperial Gunnery is good for that as well, isn't it? I've got a great book to show you. It's always from Star Wars Art looking afterwards. Ooh. 
Yeah. It's grey, it's grey, and so. But I'll show you how to cope. Yeah. Anyway, so my quest continues to complete this display set for the museum. And like I say, I've got three more figures to get. And I'm going to try not just to ring someone up and buy them that I know has got them. I want to do the hard not work. Even, not even mine. Not even his, no. <laughs> um, and do the hard work that it takes to find these things. Yeah. And, say, and hopefully not pay for the work, for them as well. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. rewarding once you do it, once you. It is, yeah. It. So it might take me a while before I finish any of these videos. So if you have any of these. Yeah, good point actually. If you have any of these and you want to sell them, don't ring in, ring. Come Could, down, come down to the shop. Yeah, bring them in, that, that's the thing. Um, yeah. Cause they're out there, aren't they, these things? Yeah, oh, cause like I said at the beginning, there's thousands for millions of these. Yeah. Was it, how, and, how many did they sell in the first, in the first film? I think. Was it 200 million figures? Well, what? I think the, the, the fact to us, they sold three of every figure per person was in the world at the time. Oh, okay. So it's billions. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So they're not as rare as you think, other than the last 17. Oh, no. None of them's rare. No. Apart from Lix. But what? That's for another video. Yeah, that's a rabbit hole, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's my next thing. I found that um, trash compactor monster. Yeah. So, that's the one. So I need that to complete that set now, don't I? Because yeah. it's not complete now. Yeah. Well, you don't really need to. It's, I thought I'd complete it's a, the it's, set. It's a creature's only an accessory. It's what, was it, what was it with? What did it call? Jeff the Hutt is a creature. Yeah. A Rancor, a Tom Tom, and a Wampa, the creatures. Yeah. And a Dagnoga. It goes in with the creatures, I think. Yeah. It's not a figure. Because it didn't come on a card. Right, okay. So, well, what we've done there is every figure plus the monsters. That's what I've tried to do mm. with that. So I need that one. And then I've got to start on the droids, haven't I? And Ewoks. And Ewoks. Have you watched any of that since? Yeah, yeah. Droids is alright. Is it? It's not terrible. Bad. How bad's the Ewoks? Oh. I imagine they're terrible. Yeah. I tell you what, I found on my lucky Cody stick at home. It was the Ewok adventure movie. Uh, what a load of garbage. Sorry, Eric. Uh, my friend's Eric Walker. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, friends with Eric Walker, I've seen it. Is that the one with the little girl? He's a little girl and the, the little lad. Yeah. Um, and it's narrated like Gentle Ben. It's not good. It's not good, no. Sorry, Eric. Listen, if it was a paid job for him. Um, you know, you take the money, don't you? Yeah. How did it get... I don't know, how did it get into the Star Wars universe? Well, in America, was, there were TV movies, but there was on the cinema, yeah, which was which happened yeah. quite a lot. Oh, so it was just a, it was a made for TV in America and you put it on the cinema yeah. here, because yeah, you could get more money for Puck it. Puck Rogers, pilot episode was yes, in yeah, the cinema, yeah. Yeah. Black Psychiatrica as well. Yeah. There was quite a number of things back then. Yeah. The pilots and then they split them up the TV, yeah, yeah. And up on, on the cinema over here. Who knows why? Well, that's my next thing. Is um, I've no Buck Rogers figures. I've no Tron figures. I've got one Buck Roger figures. Yeah. I want Wilma. <laughs> Don't know. No. Um, um, Draco, is it Draco? I've got one of them anyway. I'll let you have that one. Um, I've got one Battlestar Galactica figure, that weird I've green monster. Yeah, I need to get more of them. I've got a few. Well, I've got Cylon, I've got uh, Starbuck, Adama, two Orbeons, I don't the, need... the, the leader. Yeah. And I've got uh, the. Oh, I've got the dog. The... Muffet. Yeah, yeah. Muffet. 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 Muffet, it... the. Dog the... thing. Yeah. Do you know it was a monkey? Yeah, it's shattered by, it shattered by illusions that as a kid the, finding that the out. rocket thing <laughs> built to a part of that as well. I've got a little... Box. They're all in a box and I, no. I've, I've had to take them off this way. I don't know. It's a very important thing. Uh, well, this is what you need to do, is you need to buy a warehouse to keep everything in. I would love to. I know. I'd love to. I want to get, I want to get a house that's got a garage. Yeah, and then... So I can make it into a little museum. Yeah. 
all come and live upstairs here. That's the other option. Yeah. Right, I'm going to recap. Could do. I'm just going to do a quick recap on this, just in case. Because I tend to uh, mess things up and jump around a bit because of the way my brain yes, works. Yes, I've seen your videos. Wow. Sorcerer of Milk, table one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I, I should plan them more, but I, I like. I like to. I like to wing it more. I used to. I, I plan my videos. It used to take me a day to make a sixty-second video, writing it, practicing it. Do you know what I used to try and do? I used to. I used to write it, memorize it, and then try and do it in one take. And that's before I learned to that's edit. That's why I like my waffle like videos. I just sit down. Yeah, and just sit and talk, talk and yeah, then just yeah, yeah. I find to, that more people to death. So. We should have done this as a live, shouldn't we? Thinking Could about it. Yeah, I never thought about that. Anyway, so this is my first twelve set. Um, since the last videos, I have acquired from well from upstairs. We have a very good Ben Kenobi, a very good C three PO, a reasonable condition Stormtrooper that I think is a bit like yellow that you think is good and the Death Squad Commander, which isn't the best, but he's not bad. No? He's alright. Does he pass muster? Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I don't know where he came from. I know where most of these came from. I don't know where he came from. Or, you know, he when, when from, we put him in. He came from Hong Kong. He came from Hong Kong. Okay. So I need to get a Princess Leia with a vinyl cape and blaster, which we know is going to be impossible to get. Not impossible. Expensive. I need a jet. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, no. Can I need you say patience? Patience, yeah. My young Padawan. <laughs> um, this is my other problem as well, memory now. This is since COVID. Comes to us all. No, this is since COVID. All right. Yeah, I get these and I mix words I up as well. What, I'm, I'm also, I forget, I forget yeah. things. Yeah, and it's not good. So welcome to Blue Harvest Toys channel. Who? <laughs> <laughs> so I need a jower. I'm not going to be able to get a vinyl cape one, I don't think. But hopefully, maybe one day I will. I've got one there. I know. Yeah, but that's a, that's a, a representation. That's an orange one. Yeah. They did three different colours, didn't they, in the capes? Um, there's an orange, a brown, and a. The colour should be the same colour as, as the, the band, yeah. As the Jawa. Oh, okay. The cape should be the same colour as the Jawa. Yeah. Unless it's from Australia, and it should be the same colour as Ben's cape. Right. That's what gets all the people. Right. Yeah. So this is the variance and difference. Because most of them are cut down Ben Kenobi capes. Yes. Yeah. So you go to bit. People think, oh, it's just Ben Kenobi cape, but it's an Australian Voltois. Yeah, so you've got to know the difference, haven't you? Yeah. yeah that's it. And there's one as well where, with the uh, cloth cape where the hood comes off, isn't it? Yeah, that's a uh, little lady. Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the Mexican version. Yeah. That must have been quite complicated to do. Hmm. So, Jawa, Princess Leia, Farm Boy Luke, with a lightsaber with a tip on it. Because I've got one snapped off tip. Sounds painful. And I've also oh, got uh, one chewed by a kid tip. Um, which is a shame, but I've never seen, I've never had a decent complete farm boy look ever. Alright. You know that anyone's offered me in here, yeah. I mean I know they're out there in the universe. Yeah. But again, I mean what do you reckon is a good figure, a good price for a jail? Oh, I could. So that's a lucky Yeah, you see, I, I was thinking it's, it's going to be about 60 quid if I buy one. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my bit, bracket between forty and sixty. I would have thought. Yeah, definitely, and maybe beyond. The Princess Leia. What do you reckon price wise? You can get lucky and probably maybe get one for about eighty. That that. Wow. I would be pleased. Be with very that. lucky. Yeah. I'd say about one hundred and twenty. Well, I, I should. Yeah. Just get one hundred and twenty. Yeah, I'm going to say the ones that been seeing around the £130 mark, which yeah. is terrifying, yeah, but that's kind of the going right. And then the Farm Boy Luke, what do you reckon? How are you doing? You alright? What do you reckon for the Farm Boy Luke? Again, the Farm Boy Luke, it's, it's actually the, the lightsaber. Yeah. It's very hard to find. The easiest lightsaber to find is probably Vader's. 
Really? And then bends and loops. It's it's. The, why, why is that? Because they don't make millions of pounds. I think, of a, I think a lot of people like my first yeah. figure was was staff in. Yeah. I think that's a lot of people's first mm-hmm. figure. Everybody went and got because because it's cool. Yeah. So everybody wants Vader more than Ben. Yeah. And with Luke, the, in the, the 20 bucks, he also got Luke Pilot. Yeah, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. I, I had the Luke Pilot before him. The farm boy. Farm boy. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's because there was two Lukes early on. Yeah. And there was one Vader all the way through. Yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were discussing that the other day. Are there more Lukes than Hans? Yeah, there's eight Lukes, I believe, seven or eight. One. Is it eight Ewoks and seven Lukes? I think it's seven, I think it's that way around. Well, that's crazy, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, yeah, what we've got? We've got one, two, we've got uh, three, four, five, Six. You got two in the last seven, eight, seven, yeah. And Star Trek, you've got in it. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got Jedi Knight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the hands on the catch up because you've got this, the Patrick Swayze one and the. Um, and the. The end of one. In his, in his dressing gown and smoking jacket. The Noel Coward one. Yeah. Um, Can't be that. The best thing one, the last best thing one's brilliant. Yeah. Did you see the bigs at the back where someone's painted? Yeah. That's funny. Bigs, yeah. My first Star Wars figure, did I tell you this? Or did you know? So it was Warus one. And it's not that one. And the reason I got him, because my dad was at the trade show at Earl's Court and I nicked him off the Palatoy stand. So I had one Star Wars figure pretty wow. much before any other kid. Nice. I know, but it was probably all that was available. Yeah. You know, at the time it was all that was. There, there weren't any, you know, and disco. You know, yeah. It is. A, it's a funny outfit, isn't it? It's funny face. I'm not going to say it. Yes. Yeah. 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 But um, I car booted it for longer, which I should have kept it in hindsight. But hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going for grey hair. I'm going for grey hair. Yeah. Yeah. By the time I've completed it. I'll be normally have no hair left by the time I've completed yeah. it. What is that? Yeah. So I have to say Jeremy, massive not, thank not, you. Not the Jeremy Carbon one. Oh god no, it is don't know. I can't unsee that now. You've said that. It is. I'd not the white hair one is Jeremy Carbon. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'd never noticed that before. Yeah. On that bombshell. On that bombshell. So what's what's the fat head hand solo then? Is it Ringo Starr? It's Cliff Richard. Cliff it Richard. is Cliff Richard, isn't it? Hi. It's Sir Cliff. Hello there, you alright? Hello, you alright? I don't touch. You haven't been in here for ages actually, to be fair. Yeah. 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 But it's a nice kid, so I'd, Is yeah. I'd like to like but uh, yeah. my collection's just all over. I, yeah. I won't be able to put Princess Lynn there because I've got the rest of the layers. Well, I figured if that's all, at least I've got something started mm. again. Yeah. And it's quite a nice presentation, but then for a rabbit hole to go series, down. That's what I want to do. Yeah. So once mine's complete, yeah, I get all those, all those plasters. Yeah. I start again. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll do a video on going to Vectis selling them. Yeah. How to sell at Vectis. Yeah. And then start again. I would say how to sell at Vectis first is check the weapons because he'll just clip them if he doesn't think they're in. That's what he's always saying. Rather than checking them properly. Yeah. No. I'm going I'm to delete that bit from the video home for that. No. That's litigious, I think. Um, we love Vectis. Yeah. Massive thank you to Mark from Blue Harvest Toys. As always, it has been great chatting with you about it's toys. It's been amazing, as always. Have quite a good day, haven't we? Yeah. I'm sorry to be so busy in the shop. No, I expected it. Yeah, I expected um, it. you know, I kind of have to leave I'm happy it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, so am I today, to be fair. Yeah. They'll, be, they'll be cursing me in a minute when I go back to home because I've been skiving all day. Um, we've uh, been to Lytham. We, we've been posting any of that, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, che yeah. check out um, the trip to Lytham that we've had because I think I've introduced you maybe to some new shops yeah. that no one's really kind of seen before, which is quite a good thing. I think, you know, for you to break, for people to be able to go and see these shops. Is this a joke shop? No, joke shop's next oh, door, mate. Sorry. Jokes are terrible in here. Yeah, so I think... Ba-boom. Ba-boom. So, um, thank you again for coming down no and problem. spending your precious time precious. chatting there. Uh, uh, this is why I come. Yeah, chatting toys and things. Yeah. Um, I'd be here every day if I could. Yeah, uh, you know and we'd like you here every day. Yeah, yeah. Um, check out Mark's channel, Blue Harvest Toys, and um, don't know why I said that. Check out Mark's channel, Blue Harvest Toys. There are lots of really cool videos. There's a great video so about so collecting. Cool. There are some very good videos. There's a great one about collecting the first twelve figures on there and the values of them. Um, that again we were discussing. That a lot of people, um, a lot of friends from our channel have been been watching and commenting on. Yeah. Um, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon for another video. Hi. Bye. Hello there, you all right? How you doing? Hi. Hello there. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look, Armando, what? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest.